my dear apprentices, this is your coach, Mr. Magno. Another wonderful lesson for the Eureka program, module four, lesson 19. We're converting small units of measurement into larger units of measurement. Here is what that means. We're gonna convert pines into quartz. And one of the things that you need to know is the measurements. So uh, if you have a resource where you can look uh, what are the equivalents of those two, for example, I just looked it up and I know that two pints, two pints equals one quart. And that is key for these problems. You got to find out what is the equivalency of the two units of measurement. Once you figure that out, then it's going to be a lot easier. So now let's set up our problem. To set it up, this is what we need. One um pint okay and what we're gonna do this is gonna be equal and here's what we do we grab the one again so just rewrite the one times pint which is one pint okay so i'm gonna write that uh, one pint one pint okay now we're going to rewrite this again let me uh, grab my a different color so we're going to rewrite this so we're just going to rewrite the one which represents one pint and now we're going to convert the pint into quartz and since we know that um two pints equals one quart so one means is half of it so one is one out of two and that's how you represent one pint in quartz okay once you this you find that out then that's going to be equal to one times one over two and the answer is going to be one times one equals one over two that's going to be the equivalent and we're going to write this answer uh this uh let me see can i do this uh i'm just going to mark it up so this is the answer one half and i'm going to write it on the original question a question so that's going to be one pint written as a written as a what is the word written as a quart oh, man that thing disappears in here okay one pint written written as a quart is um is going to be one half okay now let me show you another problem but this one is going to be a word problem your first step is to identify the units so we're going to find on this one, it says Marty buys 12 ounces of granola. And the question says, is asking you to what fraction of a pound, here is the other unit of granola did Marty buy? So we have to convert ounces into pounds. And again, you have to remember this information. If you don't have it, find the resource, Google it, whatever you need to do. Do you need to know that 16 ounces equals one pound okay and that's what we need so now we're going to set up our problem we're going to read uh, we need to write we need to solve uh, how many ounces equals wait, wait, wait ounce let me write this down correctly ounces equal um oh. nope let me see let me find the right key okay how many ounces equal i'm looking for a line here no so if i press shift it's not gonna do it okay so i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm going to insert with the box so how many ounces um let me see if this this one no it's not gonna do it i need a text box over here a text box my friend okay so that's going to be um equal to pounds pound okay so we're going to find out how much how many ounces equals uh, a pound or pound pounds so what we do you're going to grab this information this right here you're going to that's our setup that's what's going to help you find the answer so we're going to rewrite it so it's going to be 12 ounces okay and we're going to rewrite the 12 by itself and we're going to multiply it times ounces one, one ounce 
Okay. And remember, we grab that from this information. 12, uh, let me show you. 12 is written, and then we'll multiply it, multiply it times one ounce. Okay. And that's where they came from. Next, what we're going to do, we're just going to rewrite this number. So it's going to be 12. That's what we're going to rewrite times. Now, we need to convert the, uh, the ounce into pounds. And since we know that 16 pounds equals one, 16 ounces equals one pound, then we know that one ounce is one out of 16 ounces. And that is going to be pounds, my friends. Okay, pounds. So we converted that this ounce into a pound. And now we do the multiplication. So the multiplication is going to be uh, 12 times 1 over 16. And that's going to equal 12 times 1 equals 12 over 16. And remember, if this number is, uh, both numbers are even, we can find and reduce them. We can, we can um, divide both of them by 2 because uh, 12 divided by 2 equals 6 and 16 divided by 2 equals 8. However, we can find a bigger number and that number is the 4. Both numbers can be divided by, divided by 4. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So now remember that these are equivalent fractions. 12 16 equals as is the same thing as 3 fourths. Both answers can be going in, in where the where the answer is, that where the conversion should be. So now we can click right here and say that uh, 12 ounces equals 3 fourths of a pound. Okay, so that's the answer now. Watch this video again as many times as you need to to understand how to solve these problems. Your coach recommends it highly if you are struggling. If you're not, just watch it once and do well on your practice and your exit ticket. Signing out your coach, wishing you the best.